For an action adventure movie, you can't really get as perfect as this. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little movie review on a movie called The Jackal from 1997. So I'm gonna be jumping into the pros and the cons. I just wanna give you a quick synopsis about what this movie is about. So essentially The Jackal is Bruce Willis and he's kind of this notorious, kind of like secret agent spy kind of guy. I think he might even be an assassin or a kidnapper or something like that. They don't know if he actually exists. They don't have any pictures of him. They just have little echoes of you know who they think he is. They don't know his name anything like that so at one point they find out that he's working on a job and then you have Richard Gere and Richard Gere is somebody who's actually seen him he understands how he works Richard Gere is in jail so they're like hey we'll you know cut you some sort of a deal we'll hook you up with something but just come out here and help us catch the jackal so that's kind of what the main synopsis is of the movie so let's jump into the pros I have this movie I was googling the best action adventures that like I hadn't seen before and this one came up and for an action adventure movie, you can't really get as perfect as this. It covers all the bases, super entertaining, lots of action, lots of set pieces, lots of little out of the box gadgets and ideas. It's just a classic action movie through and through. I loved it for that. Now, another thing I liked about this movie was all the different costumes that Bruce Willis goes through. Like I would say he probably goes to like 15 to 20 completely different costume changes, completely switching even his weight. Sometimes he looks sweaty. Sometimes he has like cigarettes here. Sometimes he looks a little bit more gay. He really just pulls off so many looks and it's almost worth watching just to see how many looks Bruce Willis can pull off here because he just is constantly pulling off new identities all the time. I found that very entertaining. The story was good, the action was good. Overall, I mean, it's just a really good action movie. I didn't have a problem with the acting, plenty of action, plenty of set pieces, a believable, coherent story beginning to end. Everything was well above average. And again, this is for somebody looking for an action adventure that does not mind this time period of 1997. All right, guys, if I were to jump into the cons of this movie, I have very few. Um, obviously, it's going to be a little bit dated because it's in 1997. Really, the only other con that I could come up with this movie is the ending didn't feel as climactic as other movies. And I really don't know why it is because everything in this movie is fine. Everything's entertaining. It builds to a nice ending. It's a very dramatic, crazy ending, but I've just seen other movies to where it felt like there was more stakes at the end. Like I just actually watched this movie called The Last Boy Scout. And that also has Bruce Willis in it. And once you get to the end, the way that they build it, I just feel like so much more is on the line by the ending than this movie. And I really don't really know why that is. Maybe it's me, I don't know, maybe you like the ending, I'm not sure, but it just felt like it could have been a little bit more grand. They could have saved a little something extra special for you at the end. There is a point where Bruce Willis is using this really, really high powered, almost military gun at the end. And I think maybe if they didn't tell you about it or didn't hint about it, that would have made the ending a little bit better. You end up finding out what the gun is. You see the gun well before he actually uses it at the end. So maybe that would have made it feel a little bit more grand. But to be honest, guys, I'm pulling at straws for an action adventure. I've just absolutely loved it. It serviced everything I wanted it to be. And it doesn't do anything more than an action adventure, but it does an action adventure perfect. I would love to watch another movie that was similar to this because it blew me away. So anyways, guys, if I were to rate this movie, I'd rate it a 7.5 out of 10. If I were to say buy, try, or pass, this is a solid try. I really enjoyed it. I actually might own it just because I really enjoyed it for an action adventure. So have you seen this movie? Have you not seen this movie? If you have some other action adventures that you want me to check into, I'd be very interested to see down below. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. Having a great day out here. Hopefully have a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.